Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and also compare it to the DXY. And since today is Friday, we're also going to have a look into the CME chart because today we're going to have another weekly close. And before we start, my friends, a little reminder, we still have this big bonus going on on a Bybit. So if you are still trading on a Bybit, then make sure that you're using this voucher code in the rewards hub to get this bonus if you put a deposit let's say of one or two bitcoin you can get the full bonus here of around 500 dollars so make sure that if you're trading here on bybit that you're using this voucher code so you can get this little promotion that bybit is offering right now and of course although if you need an account over on femex or bdr for example you can use my referral links down below here so you will get also some rewards and bonus and another update here on the prime xpt co-vesting feature we have here this no one trader with this new strategy called phoenix rising and currently he is in a loss minus 20 percent because he is probably right now in a short position since the price is pumping and he's going into negative so this trader currently is thinking that maybe he can catch the top and from here on we may be going to see a bigger correction. So let's see if this is going to be true or not. But currently he is in negative and it's uh, not such a good thing of course. So we hopefully don't get wrecked here. But let's see what the price will bring also during this weekend. So now we can start here in the one hour quickly and then we go into the four hour. In the one hour, I just want to show you that currently uh, we could get a sell signal pretty soon here. So even though it is bullish that we had a breakout here to the upside, although if I can see here in the one hour that we got here a buy signal after breaking here the 50 level in the RSI, we had this nice push here to the upside towards $18,200. We confirmed the new support and now we are seeing continuation to the upside. I think we will most likely see all also 19k incoming pretty soon today or during the weekend if we can sustain with important supports that we are creating right now but here in the one hour time frame it looks like that we might see here another little dump towards here the 17,500 to 18,000 dollar before maybe we continue to the upside because the trend is still to the upside and we still should see continuation to the upside so here in the lower time frames like the one hour of course we have sometimes sell signals but they are very short-lived and of course if you're trading with a one hour time frame and if you're watching my own indicator over on discord then maybe you can do some nice profits with these longs and shorts here but overall the longs are way more powerful so I definitely would look to open up still longs at the moment and not shorts and now let's go over into the four hour time frame because here you can clearly see that we're trading above the 20 moving average which right now is right here at seventeen thousand eight hundred dollar so even if you see a correction right now incoming here at the 20 moving average we should have enough support right at seventeen thousand eight hundred dollar i don't think that we will go lower than that unless of course we're starting a bigger correction but otherwise this moving average should hold as a support during this uptrend and if we have a look into the dxy you can see that currently the dxy is still getting rejected from this moving average even though yesterday we had an initial pump here but you see that again we are getting rejected and we're trading again here at around 92 dollars so we're gonna have to see what will happen here in the next couple of hours if the dxy is gonna take out this low over here at 92 and 15 cents then i think we're gonna see a big waterfall here in the dxy and the opposite in the bitcoin price we're gonna have a big pump and continuation to the upside which in theory we should expect right now and although if you have a look into the bollinger band you can see that we are still trading in the upper area we have all the stochastic completely oversold so here i'm expecting a big push to the upside so continuation towards 19k and potentially even towards 20k and also create a new all-time high the problem is only that macd and kst are now trading sideways here we even had a bearish cross so let's see if here we're gonna see maybe a short-lived dump here potentially to retest 17,800 or maybe even fall towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band at $17,000. If we're coming down to these levels, then maybe we could be in for a major correction. But if you're going to see here a little sell-off, then watch out here for the $17,800 level and now we can go over into the daily time frame 
because here you can see that we are still closing daily candles above the nine day moving average and I told you as long as we are having this nine day moving average as a support we should expect continuation to the upside so no need to go short right now my friends only if we're gonna close daily candles below the nine day and maybe also confirm it as a resistance then maybe start to scale in some shorts because in that case we could see a correction towards the 20 daily moving average at fifteen thousand eight hundred dollar maybe even down towards the main support right here at around twelve thousand dollar that is possible this could still happen such a bigger correction but as long as we are keeping up with the nine day moving average we should be still heading towards 20k and potentially even way higher because once you're breaking 20k i think the real fomo will come and the people will just buy like crazy bitcoin without watching any kind of tas or not even watching what price is bitcoin right now they are just gonna be blindly buying bitcoin because everyone wants to have a part of this new world and now let's have a look also into the Bollinger Bands because currently you can see that we are right at the top. So even if we will correct down towards 17,000, we will still remain on our bullish momentum towards 20k we have now all the indicators still shifted to the upside so also here in the daily no need to go short right now my friends there are a lot of warning signs but i would wait till we're gonna have a confirmation that maybe we're gonna start a correction there maybe start to think to open up shorts or if you don't want to short then just wait for the play out and then scale in again long positions because in the next couple of months and years bitcoin will go into a parabolic run up and no matter where you're gonna start to long you should be doing very fine in the future and right now we can also have a look into the dxy because here as you can see again we are still getting rejected from all the moving averages here in the daily we are still trending to the downside and we still have a lot of room left so i think that the dxy could be in here for a massive dump towards 90 dollars if we cannot recover here at least above the nine day moving average or even better above the 20 daily moving average and that's why i'm still also expecting continuation to the upside in the bitcoin price and uh, now we can have also look into the weekly because look at this my friends we are again in a very very bullish weekly close here in the spot market of course we just have to wait till sunday till we're gonna have this weekend and close and if we can close at those levels we are exactly at the levels like we were in the parabolic top in 2017 and that's why i say if we can close in these levels up here this weekly candle i think we are about to go even more parabolic to the upside before having any kind of correction but as you can see also in the past here in 2016 we always had big corrections on the way up towards this 20k top and i think the same thing will happen also here on our way towards 100 to 300 thousand dollar per bitcoin so watch out for these kind of corrections go all in there because we still have a lot of way to go till the next parabolic top which most likely my opinion will happen towards 2021 to 2022 and if we zoom in here a bit you can again see all the moving averages here in the weekly which are coming up you can even see here the 200 weekly moving average at seven thousand three hundred dollar bitcoin never went below the 200 weekly moving average at least never had a close below really even here in the two big crashes that we had in 2018 and with the corona dump you can see that this was the absolute bottom for the bitcoin price and this is really like the worst case scenario that could happen and of course a dump from 18,000 down to 7,300 dollar would be a big catastrophe but i don't think that we will ever go again at least not in the next couple of months and years below the 20 weekly moving average which right now is right at 11,960 dollars so you can see every week that we are staying in these high levels up here we bring all the moving average higher and higher and therefore although we could expect a less violent drop if we're gonna see a major correction and now we can go over into the CMEs and have a look here my friends because as you can see right now the CMEs are going to have a very very bullish weekly close so even above this high that we had here in January 2018 after the inception of the CME so you can see that if this week so if today we're gonna close the CMEs at these price levels that will be the most bullish and highest close in the CMEs ever. So right now we are writing history, my friends. If today we can close above $16,500, 
this is the absolute highest high that we ever had in the CMEs and I don't have to tell you how this chart is looking like because if we're gonna create this W formation here you can imagine what will happen once we're gonna break out from here and go straight to the moon so the Bitcoin price is looking very bullish for the long term my friend so you definitely should try to buy every dip that we're gonna see here in the next couple of months and years because what we have seen so far since breaking here this 10k level was still nothing compared to what will come so far we are just experienced here some movements between a few hundreds of dollars even up to one thousand dollars so you can see here per week we sometimes had even one or two thousand dollars moves to the upside but in the future there will be not one thousand dollar candles but in the future there will be ten thousand twenty thousand dollars of movements per days or per week so be prepared of what will follow here in the bitcoin price what we have seen so far is still the beginning and with that said my friends i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you don't smash my like button then smash anything you want do something because bitcoin is really about to go crazy and so also you should do and if there is any no coiners out there watching this video right now then make sure to open up right now an account over on swissborg or coinbase with my referrals down below here because in that case you will get even more cryptos if you sign up with my referral links you will also get some altcoins and also even more money to buy crypto so definitely use my referral links down below here if you want to open up a coinbase account or a swissborg account where you can easily buy cryptos with your credit card or also with your bank account so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye